The U of A's president says he's in favor of mandatory vaccinations for students and vaccine passports. Dr. Robert Robbins says the decision on that will likely be made before the fall semester. Nine on your side's Brian Brennan has more on that and on what university leaders have to say about concerns over the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. This week's virtual update once again pushed the importance of getting as many people vaccinated as possible and also pushed back against any hesitancy surrounding the pause of the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. A COVID-19 vaccination may become mandatory for University of Arizona students by the fall semester. Really favor mandating it. Um, for for both COVID-19, but also for influenza vaccine and, and all the things that we commonly do. University President Dr. Robert Robbins says a final decision has not been made yet. Former U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Richard Carmona acknowledged the controversy. But it's, it's the right of an individual to their privacy versus the collective right of society to stay safe. And we're trying to balance those two, you know, so it's very, very difficult. The university is strictly a Pfizer pod, but Carmona says the Johnson & Johnson shot has caused an unwarranted amount of vaccine hesitancy. He says the complications surrounding the shot can be treated and are very rare. It adds fuel to that fire of people who don't believe, the people who are the conspiracy theorists, the people who just don't trust the government. And the fact of the matter is, we had a long discussion this morning with the president. You're talking of six cases and about 7 million vaccines. It's infinitesimally small. Carmona and Robin says increased vaccinations and continued social distancing will be needed for some time before the pandemic can be considered close to over. We're going to need to continue this through the summer and probably into the fall uh, with all of these mitigation efforts because we're not out of the woods by a long shot yet. The university is expected to remain in stage three of their reentry plan this week and next week with up to 100 students in a classroom. Ryan Brennan, KGUN 9, on your side.